Tuesday, baby! Let's see if they have erased every single zero poster again this time or uh if uh oh there's no guests today. Yep. As as usual, they've erased every single zero poster. No surprise. But besides we're eating this week. Oh, Dear Day's poster gone too? Oh no, you're right. So, Strike Decks and Messiah releases this week, Friday, here in Japan. And, of course, we're missing one more card, which is Exilix Messiah, which will be revealed today. And on top of that, they're going to be revealing the Zorga stuff from the anime. Um, I haven't seen the episode yet, I will catch up soon. And uh, they're going to be revealing the Zorga stuff from set 10. And... We're gonna get the actual reveal for set 11 and what is actually happening in set 11 in a uh, later portion of the stream. I know everyone. I know everyone said the episode this week was really, really good, so I feel bad for missing out on it. So I want to catch up so I can watch the next one. The next one look, looks pretty good too. Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna get the zero news for the next rank rank fight. Zero is uh, you know doesn't get many news announcements these days but i'm looking forward to whatever they give us all right so this weekend is the first wgp of the year we're getting our first results of the set 9 slash messiah format of you know the entire competitive cycle so this sunday will be wgp kyoto and it will be beginning at 11 30 a.m and uh ending at 5 30 p.m dr o will be a guest together with knack as the assistant so that'll be uh, pretty exciting all right so starting from this is a pretty cool update for zero starting from uh the first of march you will be able to exchange for clan fight challenge cards using the promo so using the, the coupons and the next rank reward is amaruda oh my god damn her art is amazing yo i never noticed a little doggo or lion tiger cub damn beautiful new art i think it's the original illustrator too no is it oh no i don't think it is it's a new one that's super pretty damn so they are doing the another special spring themed bermuda set she's the best deck that's right ybt no die <laughs> so yeah it's the usual stuff that they did in the previous sets as well but it's pretty cool so like the v coupons you can actually exchange them for clan fight cards now which is pretty exciting honestly like that's something that i didn't expect them to do and it's pretty cool of them as well yo twitter icon presents you can get Zorga and Dragon Tree and Trickstar with his eyes beaming. <laughs> Trickstar with his eyes beaming. Bruce. The Leonorn, of course, with the, the shaft head tilt. And then, uh, of course, Urara's great face. It's great. Oh! Chrono Jet! Damn! Damn, so it's like what? The like Chrono Jet that like traveled through time for 35 hundred billion years? And then like saw like the. You'll get a more like a better translation from an official source, but it's like he traveled through time for 3,500 billion years. And it's like in search of the oh, like to find the awakening of the next genesis dragon so there's a new messiah like what the hell lost his time traveling powers or it's like he like not necessarily traveled through time but he just like like searched through time i'm not sure what the exact word was i'd have to look back on it but i'm sure that um i'm sure that the usual lore translator will um sure stealth will translate it they're already just going to put stride in D. I have a reminder for you, my friend. They are what he are in D. <laughs> and speaking of which, here we have So Siryu Exelix Messiah. All right, so to stride it, you must discard a Messiah from your hand. It's the same as next stage. And then GB2, when this unit attacks, counter blast one. And you can choose 
yours and your opponent's locked cards any amount and unlock them and if you did unlock then all of your rear guards that were unlocked by um oh cool so if you unlocked then you can choose your rear guards that are in the same columns as your unlock units stand them and for that turn all of your front row units get plus 10k power and this unit gains the crit damn so you choose the same amount of unlocked so again it's like um you cb1 when he attacks and you choose as many cards as you want uh that are locked between you and your opponent and unlock them and if you did you choose your rear guards up to the same amount as the amount of unlocked cards by this ability stand them and then for this turn your front units get plus 10k and this unit gets a crit so yeah you basically it's awakenings and original skill kind of yeah so you basically can like just lock your front row and then boost with the things that lock themselves like the uh arrestor messiah and then um it's pretty good so yeah turn two or turn four you go into this and um you already have three face up for plus 15 from the crest plus another 10 so yeah, he restands the boosters basically, which is pretty cool. And generally speaking, you are going to be uh, unlocking just one thing in your opponent's side. Pretty good card. Pretty good card. It's not next stage levels of insane, and I guess this also means that Messiahs will not have any guard restrict, but it is strong. Putting the crit on it is also going to be pretty annoying. Um, there's not actually that many decks in the meta right now that just like have static crit attached on the vanguard circle since gravity has not really been a thing for a while so it'll actually be pretty exciting to uh see how this plays out which name is i will be a good deck overall yeah it would be good i don't think it will be tier one though i don't know we'll see how things go we have the first lbgp of the year this sunday and um messiah will be legal for that so yeah it's not as good as jet but it's still really good still seems really good just a lot more peace reliant so your initial mulligan will be very important this is confirmed five attacks yeah but it's kind of already been confirmed five attacks from the start in a way but yeah even if you only have one thing that can self-lock this will technically give you that fifth attack too you don't necessarily have to stand the boosters so if you only have an arrestor for example and no other way to self-lock your stuff um that way or like let's say you only on strike skill lock one of your back rows and then you unlock that so they can lock a unlock a front row too which is nice yeah you technically don't yeah as kai is saying like you don't need specific cards to make multi-attack this is actually yeah this actually makes the deck less peace reliant that's pretty good yeah actually this card might be more hmm. now that we're talking about a bit more this might actually be better than expected damn so that is the oh damn that looks good that is the full art exelix that looks very pretty so if you order the premium stride deck set you'll get four of those and then uh otherwise the normal one you get one of them oh damn both of them look really good actually but i'm quite quite okay with the fact that i got the normal one this time around i don't like messiah as much as i like chrono jet so i'm quite pleased and this is the crest of course i wonder what they will do for the for the next one what will be the next premium stride deck set oh okay so just in case you feel like putting the uh waking messiah in your main deck at four copies they actually give you an additional three copies of it why do they not do this with mazer gear <laughs> <laughs> all right zorga masks it's time it's zorgan time they finally gave zorga a new form first time in a year so this zorga says you can only ride this card from a grade three zorga and when you play a normal order you can choose a another normal order from your drop and bind it to make alchemagic so it actually doesn't say different named normal order. You can actually put two of the same one together now, I believe. And then you have uh, another skill. 
During this turn, if you have Alchemagic, your front units all get plus 10k. Big old power. And finally, once per turn, four skills. <laughs> Act once per turn. You can um, banish a card from your hand or soul or drop that is a different name, Zorga. And then you choose one card from your drop. And if it's a unicard, you call it to rear. And if it's a normal order, you add it back to your hand. So people are picking up Grave Zorga and Blue Zorga in order to make this happen. Double Miasma though with Persona 30k to front row. Yeah, and apparently there's a way to make multiple attacks in Zorga now, so uh will be pretty exciting. Yeah, Joe Guy is like banish <laughs> remove from game big ass rears with multi-attack that's actually going to be pretty annoying like zorga is going to be strong purely because like big ass big ass rears with multi-attack turn three persona is crazy what what turn three persona <laughs> you will see oh my god <laughs> el nos have haven't seen the episode yet ah! i didn't see the episode yet i have not time i was out the entire weekend i was out the entire weekend how could you? I have a life outside of card games. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Alright, come on. Enough. I've seen... This is the one card I have seen. Yes, show me the next card. Alright. This is what I wanted to see. What rarity is this? Double rare. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, not like this. Alright, grade 3 normal order. Mask of Hudora Groom. Looks kind of cool. Looks like a messiah head. Anyway, you look at the top five cards of your deck and find either a dragon tree or a masks unit card from among them. Reveal it, add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. And then act in the drop zone. If you have a grade three vanguard that does not have masks in its name, you can reveal one grade three from your hand with the masks name and oh you ride the card you revealed for this cost and if you did you put this card to the soul and if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater and if during this turn you have not persona road yet you persona ride huh that's that's pretty good. I've not seen the episode yet, so everyone else know, knew about this already. And I guess it must have been a really cool anime moment when he activated for Sunrise turn 3. But that's pretty cool. That's a really awesome turn. That's that's actually a really cool card. Damn. Turn... Turn 3 Persona Ride. I like, I like what this is doing. I don't like the fact this will probably be a $50 double rare on release. <laughs> Uh oh. How many copies should you run of this? That's a great question. I don't know. I mean, you didn't drop right. I guess Zorga can search it out because it's a normal order. Is it generic? Only masks decks can use it, so it's not as generic as the as the chalice. I don't think it will be as generic as the chalice because obviously, like Eva will never be able to run this. Jet will never be able to run this. Youthberg hopefully will never be able to run this and whatnot. Oh, Grade 2 Dragon Tree searches it? That's why that card's been getting expensive. I see. You chose the worst week to not watch the anime. Well, I went to see the moving Gundam in Yokohama and you didn't. So I don't know who's the real winner here. Kind of won this one. Got him. x thank you for the 24 months. That's the real winner. x coming through with a two-year sub. That's what a winner looks like. None of these crying people in chat. All right, can you normal ride from a normal unit that is not a masks into a mask unit from your hand? Yes. Oh, does Persona Ride activate if I ride from a non-masks unit onto a masks unit from my hand? No, it does not. Oh, can I activate masks of Hydra Groom from my hand and in the same turn use its drop zone effect? to ride a masks unit from my hand yes you can that's actually a pretty good clarification i wasn't because technically you've already played the order but i guess it's a drop zone skill so you're not playing the order 
All right, the last question is like, when I use masks of uh, Hydrogrum, um, can I ride from any unit onto Zorga masks? No, you cannot. You can only ride from units that are stated in Zorga masks effect, though. Basically, it's basically just Zorgas. <laughs> so, what does the wagon do? When this unit is placed on rear, can almost one plus one. Choose one of your rearguard circles without a dragon tree marker on it, and put a dragon tree marker on it. And search your deck for a masks of Hydrogrum. And reveal it out into your hand and shuffle your deck. <laughs> Just like that. It's a double rare, grade two with 10k power. All right, next. Drop. When your Zorga masks attack, your Zorga masks Vanguard attacks. Um, if uh so this guy's name is ryu kotsu dachi you see if you don't have a ryu kotsu dachi on your rear guard circle you can count us one and retire one of your rear guards to call this card on a circle with a freaking dragon tree marker on it multi attack it's a 5k grade 2 but that doesn't matter because you're giving it like plus 50k because that's what zorga does zorga you did it you can finally do four attacks. You can finally play in let pulse. It's called keel severing in English. Damn. Congratulations, Zorga. You did it. Thanks to this guy, you can finally use in let pulse. You've done it, you crazy guy. At long last, you can use in let pulse. I'm so happy for you, bro. I'm so happy for you, bro. You did it. All it took was 10 sets. Zorga finally gets multi tank. I wonder what Orphus will do. It's kind of interesting because like the set one ride lines of Orphist and and the Zorga got big support, so maybe I feel like eugene has been getting support all the time, but it's always mid. And then Hexorb just <laughs> got ignored for this set. Wow. No Hexorb. Hexorb turned into a priest. Eugene turned into a dragon. Congratulations. And uh, Eugene turned into not Eugene. Bear Magnus turned into Unica. All is right with the world. M21. I was wondering why there's so many double rares. <laughs> well, they're showing like double rare, double rare, double rare. And then I see 21 double rares. So I guess it's like 20 double rares plus the one, you know, masks card. Well, there's five secrets. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. What is this? The secret rares for this set will have the anime characters printed on them. You can always look at the beautiful bald head while playing your favorite deck. Mr. Wall Worldwide is going to be with you at all times. Five secrets equals five masks. I wonder if they'll just give you arena secret. We still really don't know much about this set, but it's also a month and a half away, so... Set 11! So today there's gonna be nothing but news that you'll see for the very first time. AU Gekitotsu? That's like... Hero... He's like Heroes Clash, yeah. Wait. Wait, if it's Dimension Police, I'm gonna lose it. If it's Dimension Police, I'm gonna lose it! Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no! Okay. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, we're getting new... New forms. Oh my god. That was gonna pass out. New forms of the glitter units. New Tamayura. And new Chaos, which means new Eva. Oh my god, more support for best deck. You love to see it. Show me the Eva art, come on. Let me die! <laughs> Deed with the 25 months! Ah! God, this is in June. This is four months away. I guess three? Three and a half? God damn it, god damn it! They are keeping information away from me! You're showing the mid first! Showing the Eva! She's not crazy! Thank you! <laughs> She's not crazy yet! Sorry, Roroa. <laughs> yes! New Eva! Oh, Eva's name is Poison in Paradise Eva. Poison in Paradise Eva. Alright, they're saying like, oh, will these be treated as Persona Rides? How will these new forms be, be treated? Poor Obitan. It's okay, we already got a new Obitan. Eva Taya. <laughs> Everyone's just even, even they're hyped about Eva. 
Eva! <laughs> I will never stop being an Eva main. It is my domain forever. <laughs> it is my domain forever. They're gonna show one more card. Dimension, please, dimension, please, dimension, please. Of course it's Hazel! God damn it! It's Blood Hazel! I knew it. Deep inside my heart, I knew this whole time. I knew this whole time it would be Hazel. Uh, it's Blood Hazel. <laughs> he does look beautiful. Of course, I knew it. Oh my god. They're saying, oh, if Hazel is there, surely the red line is, is those guys as well, right? It's another Ketter encounter. <laughs> How many Ketter encounters do we have now? PBO, MLB, Minerva, Hazel, four. Stokia has one. <laughs> Bracket has one. <laughs> oh, second of June. It's three months away. All right. I will pre order the case of this. I'm starting to see a pattern. <laughs> I seem to open cases of only encounter sets these days. It seems to be the case that that I really like um, this certain particular lady. This certain particular lady and her support always makes things very good for me. Thank you, Ebatan. I hope, I hope that my SP does not randomly become unplayed. That would be sad. <laughs> that would be sad, but I hope. Damn. And don't forget, on Thursdays, we always read the Cray Cross Epic man not manga, novel, here on the Twitch stream on Thursday nights. So make sure you come through and tune in, as we will be reading more about Eva. Eva-tan. Still no bug? There is a bug! She's called Maple. Read the lore, bro. All right, so we're gonna show Sophie's real power. Talk about episode eight and preview episode nine, and we're also gonna get the card that appear in the anime revealed. Nice. I wonder whose cards they will be introducing next week. Will we see Vermillion with him? That would be very cool. That would be super cool if we do, but we don't know it yet. If Eva is so meta now, are they going to give her good support next set? Yes. Because Eva prints money.